Hello everyone, my name is Scott Meek with Diesel Laptops. Today we're going to be going over Jaw Test by Kajali. When you double click the icon on the desktop, this is the main screen that will appear. From here we have two options. We can either choose the automatic scan process or the manual connection process. The automatic connection options are listed above. First we have the heavy duty 9 pin green connection the heavy duty 6 and 9 pin black or gray connection, the Volvo Mac HD 16 pin connection, and the light and medium duty 16 pin connection. For the manual process, we have on highway heavy duty, trailer, bus, light and medium duty, off-highway equipment such as construction equipment, stationary engines like generators and street sweepers, agricultural equipment, and powertrain. For today's presentation we're going to choose the heavy-duty green 9-pin connection. Once we've made that selection we now have two options to choose from. We can choose the system scan plus read fault codes, which is going to check for all available modules and give a fault code readout from each module. The other option we have is the system scan, which is just going to scan for all available modules on the data link. We're going to choose system scan plus read fault codes and click the check mark. We are now waiting for the vehicle to connect. Once we have detected all modules on the system, we are now going to wait for the readout for the fault code information that is available for each module. Now that we've connected, you'll see that we have small expendable boxes here that we can expand and view our fault code information. We can also see what CAN bus that we're communicating on per module. And we also have three icons located beneath, one for freeze frame data, one for help, and one for troubleshooting. We can click on any of these icons and it will bring us to this page. Here it will show the freeze frame data. The next tab is the same as the icon to the right earlier, which will show the components related to the fault. It will show you a wiring diagram and it will also have fault code troubleshooting. Once we've selected the fault code troubleshooting, we can expand these boxes and get some information about our codes and how to troubleshoot them. Here you'll see that this module has a pinout and a location. It also has tightening torques and specifications. As we continue on with our diagnostic troubleshooting, it gives us step-by-step -step instructions that we can follow by expanding these boxes. It will give you component diagrams and locations as well as specifications and pinouts. You can return by clicking the back arrow. So now that we've returned, we can connect directly to any module by highlighting the module and clicking the connect icon here. If you choose to stay here and find out more information about the fault codes in the particular module that you have highlighted, you can do that in this column here. This is the fault codes read and clear icon. This is the frequent tests icon. Here will be the most common test that would be performed with the particular modules that you have on this vehicle. We have the Operation Data tab. We have the Maintenance Resets tab, which is going to allow you to perform maintenance resets on the module selected. Next we have the VIN Info tab which is going to allow us to find information about the particular model truck that we have.
The basic live data tab is going to give you some basic information such as vehicle speed, engine hours, and vehicle distance. These are all monitored live. The next tab that you'll come to is the report preview. Here you will have a preview of a full detailed vehicle report including distance, hours, modules present, year, make and model, and a list of all fault codes that are in the vehicle currently. You can save a copy of this report by clicking the save icon here. You can print them by using this icon here. Zoom in, zoom out, expand the page, and view all pages by clicking this icon here. The next available tab is the Export to Jaw Test Telematics. This will allow you to generate this report and send it via telematic. This will allow you to save results to the vehicle. If we go back to the Vehicle Overview tab, we can now continue on with the selection we have previously made, or we can choose another ECU from the list. From here we can explore all the tabs to the left such as system technical data. Here we have a few tabs that we can choose from such as general information, fuel system which will give us specifications, locations, as well as component identifiers. We have the Tightening Torques tab, which gives us a full list of components and their Tightening Torque specifications. You can make the selection by highlighting and selecting. We also have the Components tab, which gives us a comprehensive list of components that we can view a picture and pinouts of. We also have the Diagrams tab. Here we can choose which diagram we want to view by highlighting and then clicking the check mark. Here we can scroll down and view the wiring diagram for the particular module that we are connected to. And if there are multiple pages you can view them by clicking this icon here. You can go back to the Diagrams tab, choose a different diagram, make the selection and view. Here we have the fuel system diagram which will show fuel flow and all related check valves, injection, pumps and injectors. Next we can choose the vehicle service data select the engine and the check mark and this will allow us to see maintenance reports and maintenance intervals depending on your type of driving whether it be city driving long distance or severe service
The next tab that we'll come to will be the vehicle technical data. Press accept to confirm. Choose the specific engine model that you have. Click the check mark. Once making the selection, you will have many tabs to choose from. All of these are very similar in detail, but they break it down by system. For example, engine distribution. This shows you the phasing of the engine. Some other examples that you can choose from here would be the accessories and belts, which will show you built routing. Fuel systems, which can show you a general overview, a component location, and some more information about this system. Another tab worth noting is the Tightening Torques tab. This tab will give you many torque specifications when working on the particular engine that you have chosen. Next is the Capacity and Fluids Quality. This will give you a list of all the specifications required for engine oil. And next is the After Treatment System tab, which will give you a general basic overview of the system and how it functions. The next tab that we have is the Troubleshooting by Symptoms tab. Here you will be able to determine what kind of symptom that you have, make the selection from the following items, and will give you step-by-step -step troubleshooting on how to find the cause of the issue. Once you've chosen the symptom that you're troubleshooting, you can expand the boxes and go step-by-step -step until the problem is found. The last tab on the list is the Releases and Procedures tab. This tab is going to give you a few different tests and procedures that will help expedite your troubleshooting. Thank you for joining us today. Please stay tuned for the next video of the series.